Blue light from gadgets leads to premature aging, at least in flies. Excessive sitting in front of the screen leads to obesity and psychological disorders. Now scientists have identified a new potential threat to human health lurking in our gadgets. A variety of gadgets have long and firmly entered our lives, with their help, we get acquainted, make purchases, spend leisure time and organize work. However, now scientists from the University of Oregon, USA, have found that even the most modern and harmless phones, televisions and computers are not so harmless. Under the influence of the blue light emitted by them, Drosophila began to age faster. The researchers showed that levels of specific metabolites, chemicals needed for proper cell function, change in fruit flies that have long been under intense blue light. Previously, researchers have demonstrated that fruit flies exposed to light turn on genes that protect against stress, and those that were kept in constant darkness live longer. Now, to understand how blue light might affect flies' lifespan. The scientists compared metabolite levels in insects exposed to blue light for two weeks and those in complete darkness. It turned out that flies contained in blue light significantly increased the level of succinates, salts of succinic acid, and the level of glutamates, salts of glutamic acid, decreases. Suppositories are necessary for the proper energy exchange of the cell, and their increased content may indicate an acceleration of metabolism. Glutamates are important in the transmission of nerve signals between neurons, so that a decrease in their concentration can lead to neurodegeneration. It turns out that in the body of flies kept under blue light, the cells work for wear, which can lead to their premature death and explain early aging. On the one hand, the results look alarming, today people almost constantly use various gadgets and can be under the LED lamps of the blue spectrum for a long time. Therefore, there is a possibility that our cells exposed to excessive exposure to blue light age earlier. On the other hand, flies and humans are quite far from each other in phylogenetic terms. Therefore, in order to draw unambiguous conclusions about the dangers of blue light for humans, more research is needed at least in mammals. And in the near future, scientists are going to conduct such experiments. In addition, the flies participating in the study were exposed to strong blue radiation. The power of the lamp illuminating them was 165 watts. For comparison, the power of a conventional park lamp is about 60 to 120 watts, and in enclosed spaces the lamp is even weaker, usually no more than 30 watts. That is, a person almost does not encounter such an intense blue light. So, even if the negative impact is revealed, it may not be so serious. The study is published in the journal Frontiers in Aging. Stay tuned for more updates.